everyone so I just wanted to come on real quick and say hi and um, I've been getting a lot of questions about like oh I you know what kind of classes should I take what major should I take um, and I've been typing back to each person and um, I thought it might be a little bit easier if I just came on and said it all at once and that way yeah and if it's kind of loud it's because I'm at home and I have brothers and they're playing like games like ones over there and ones upstairs anyway okay so first off disclaimer i am just a student i'm not an academic advisor i don't speak for the dental school or anything i just speak from experience um and you have to take in consider in con into consideration that i applied two years ago so it might be a little different now like dat scores or what classes are that oh my god i can't talk today classes that are recommended are maybe different, but these are what um, I feel helped me so far. So first off, for a major, um, you can be pretty much any major you want. You can be a music major, you can be an art major, business major, you can be a science major. Um, there's nothing that, um, you know, they don't look higher upon science majors or whatever. So the deal is you have to just complete all the requirements of that school and each dental school is going to have a different set of required classes so make sure you check the schools that you're interested in make sure you take those classes um, so that's that's it so if you're an art major then you have to take your art major requirements plus the required stuff for dental school so a lot of people do science majors like biology I personally was a microbiologist a microbiology major because a lot of the requirements that dental school needed um, just overlapped with my major so I didn't have to do like a lot of extra classes so um, so the classes that are required for most dental schools for, especially for like taking the DAT you need like at least a year so like two semesters or three quarters depending on what school system you have. So you need biology, you need general chemistry, and you need organic chemistry um, for the DAT. And um, so I have some classes that are recommended. So besides the required stuff, so again, check with your school, check with what school you want to apply to and everything. But the ones that are uh, required by a lot of them are biology, general chemistry, um, O-chem, let's see, I think physics, some schools, and um, English. You need like a year of English, like two semesters or whatever. And then also psychology. A lot of schools are requiring psychology. Some schools require like sociology. Some schools require math. So you just really make sure you check into which schools you're applying to because the last thing you want to do is apply to a school and then figure out like you didn't meet the requirements then you would have wasted your money on the application so um, so the five major classes that dental schools really really recommend which probably wouldn't be a part of your major would be anatomy which I think is really helpful because the first semester it's like at NYU it's just anatomy anatomy was our heaviest class and then physiology which we just took last semester um, we called it like organ systems but physiology is really important Biochemistry, microbiology, and histology are really important. So those are the five classes that dental schools, like the, the big five, that if you have time, they highly recommend it. So let's see. Um, if you take public speaking, that's a good thing because, you know, you have to, like, communicate and everything. And public speaking is really good. Um, these are just, like, other recommendations, by the way. Um, biostats genetics, anything. So the game plan is try not to like take all your science classes and like kind of like spread them out against like six years or something so you get really good grades. The whole thing that's really really important is that you take every single semester you take, you take heavy science classes. Like say you take 18 units, make sure the majority of them are science classes and not like fluffy science classes. Like hard science classes so that way you can prove that you can take a heavy load of science classes and still do really well so time management which I still have to you know learn but um, so yeah so okay sorry if this is kinda scatterbrained but so that's the whole deal every semester take heavy science classes 
And the more science classes you take, the better it'll be for you later on because when you get to dental school, it's just science and lab for, well, at least for NYU. Some schools, they, you don't even have lab the first year, so it's just science classes. So if you can train yourself to take like a lot of science and still do really well, then you're gonna be really prepared. So, yeah. So that is how I think um, you should prepare. If you have like a pre-health you know, advisor at your school, go talk to them. Ours was amazing. Um, Barb Huntington, she was amazing. She helps everyone. That's at my school, so or my undergrad. So if you have something like that at your school, go talk to them. They'll help you. If not, then you can always talk to like just your major advisor and see what they think. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. So hopefully that wasn't too scatterbrained. If you have more questions, then let me know. I will put all of the classes that I mentioned down there in the bar. So click the little arrow. I think it's like on the side. Click the little arrow and then the box box will pop down. And um, yeah, hopefully that helps. You know, good luck everyone. Congratulations everyone who has gotten in and is starting soon and good luck to everyone in the application cycle. And yeah, okay, bye.